In this step, we're going to create a play blast. Before we do that, we're going to make sure that the viewport is set up to make the play blast not look rubbish and to do the right number of frames. So I'm just going to put my mouse in here, tap spacebar to make the shot cam full screen. Now, when we do a play blast, it's going to play blast whatever frames are within the time slider. And I've currently got it set from 1 to 500. But my animation is only 200 frames long. So I'd get 300 frames of nowt, which is of no use to me. So I'm going to change this number here to 200. Bosh. And now it will only render those 200 frames. The next job is to make sure that it doesn't look daft. So you can see all these lines here of previewy sort of stuff. They're not really part of the animation. They're just showing us where lights are. And we can turn that preview off. To do that, we're just going to click on Show from the panel menu, and you can see all the different things that you can turn on and off. And I just want to turn off lights. And that doesn't stop your lights from shining. It just stops those little lines that represent your lights from being seen in the viewport. The other thing I'm going to do is make sure that I've pressed 7 so that Use All Lights is turned on. Uh, and that just makes everything look a lot nicer. So this now is ready for me to create a Play Blast with. Now we can go into the Play Blast options and get that set up. So if we go to Playback, the thing at the top is Play Blast. And we'll go to the Options box to get that set up. Here's the Options box. So the time range is set to Time Slider, which is what we want, because that's going to do frame 1 to 200. You could set that manually. The format... I like to stick to a video format because the point of this is that it's just a quick preview to see how your animation looks. You could do it to an image sequence, but that would be nuts. Don't do that. So I'm going to leave it at AVI. And the encoding I like to have on the IYUV codec for no other reason than it works for me. If that doesn't work on your machine, try one of the others. Eventually you'll get one that works. But for me, on this machine, IYUV is working well. Set the quality to whatever you want. I find 70 is absolutely fine. I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, and the display size is coming from the render settings. And that's quite important as well because you want the window that you render to reflect the size that you're going to render out at later. So I'll leave that as it is. Scale. I think by default, when you do a Play Blast for the first time, the scale is set to 0 0.5, which you can leave it at. But I've been using this previously, and I've upped my scale to 1, which is full size, basically. It's the full size of the frame. Um, if you want a quicker play blast, then you can turn that down to 0.5, and that'll still be absolutely fine. The last thing that you really want to decide is whether or not you want to save the play blast. I went to an event a few years ago, and one of the animators that worked on Portal 2 was there. And the way that she showed us her process was through the play blasts that she created of Wheatley. And so the fact that she'd kept those for years meant that uh, they were really useful in the future. So you can save them and they could well be useful if you do need to show the process that you've gone through. Today, I just want a quick preview of what's going on, so I won't save it. But the tick box is there if you want it. Once you've got everything set up, you're happy with it, click on Play Blast. And you'll see what it does now is it plays through your scene. Uh, one frame at a time. It may go faster or slower than actual real time, but when it's done It will play it back to you in a video format. It should by default open whatever your default media player is So let's see what that's set to on my laptop. I don't know. It'll be a surprise Here we go Windows media player. Why not? And you can see now it's playing it in Windows media player I've got a nice preview of what my animation should be it actually shouldn't be as jerky as it's been. I think the reason for that is because I'm recording at the same time. It usually plays back very smoothly. It should for you as well. That's kind of the point of the Play Blast. Okay, so that's Play Blasting. Low quality preview of animation to make sure that your motion looks as expected.